All right, uh, morning of day 66. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I can tell it's probably gonna get a little bit hotter later on, but right now it's great. And I wish I was up to 100% to hike in it, but I'm not. Um, my stomach is still uh, protesting. And I have, uh, yeah, major digestive problems, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even eat my uh, dinner last night because uh, uh, I just didn't want to get through, go through it to this morning. Uh, but so, the plan is get to Oxford, which is only about six or seven miles away, and get a hotel room and try to ride whatever has happened with my stomach out, uh, at least for another day, just so I don't have to deal with it out in the woods. <laughs> uh, yeah, so another uh, disappointing day, April day. It seems like uh, April has just been all about survival for me. Um, yeah, but I feel good, as in like my energy levels and my uh, overall Thing. So I'm not nauseous or or anything else that uh, would generally associate with like big digestive problems like this. It's just yeah, it's just not fun. It is still a beautiful day out here, so I'm gonna enjoy the small amount of walking I get in today on a perfect hikeable day. But uh, yeah. It's uh, just disappointing, but you can only go as far as your body allows you to go. And so, yeah. It's looking more like five months instead of four months out here. All right, later. So, on the farmlands out of, out of Oxford. It's a beautiful day, not too hot yet. And, uh, my stomach isn't as revealing as much as yesterday, so that's good. Hopefully that was the low water mark yesterday. Uh, yeah. And sure as it is riveting to hear about my stomach problems, hopefully they'll go away pretty soon. But, until then, I can still enjoy the scenery. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. All right, there. All right, so the farther I go along today, uh, the better my stomach feels overall. The less rebellious it is. Yeah. So, I haven't made a reservation for a hotel and I might not. Just because, yeah, all I had to do was walk it off, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to tell myself anyways. Uh, I'm going to stop off to get something to eat at Oxford and stop at the Walmart to resupply. And uh, there's uh, about seven or eight more miles from here, there's a... Um, There's a campground I might be able to camp out, or at least get some water at. And then uh, try to figure out how good I feel from there. Keep on going or not. But yeah. Plus I've looked at all the Turn hotels. right onto Tollgate Drive. Yeah. I looked at all, all the hotels around this place. They're all $100 plus, and I was like, well, I don't feel that bad yet. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is going to be, it's going to go right through Oxford. But I am going to get something to eat. All right, later. All right, as I'm walking through Oxford, near the hotels that I would be uh, staying at if I was going to stay at, I decided I think it's better overall that I stop. Uh, just, uh, even I'm pretty feeling decent right now, it's pretty marginal. I can see myself getting worse if I uh, try to push it. 
and I'd rather uh, <laughs> not be sick. Uh, so that means taking uh, a good 18, 19 hours off because it's about 12 o'clock right now. Then uh, hopefully that does the trick so I don't have to deal with this for the next few days. Right. So it's the Butler Inn. That's what I'm going to be staying at. And hopefully they let me in early because it's supposed to check in at 3. It's like 12 o'clock right now. I just put my uh, best, uh, what was me, I'm a through hiker face on and usually that works. And uh, they don't seem that busy. Right. So here's me flaking out because of my stomach right there. Alright, in my hotel room, a decently expensive hotel room. Um, it's not that bad, but um, yeah. I'm going to sleep for the next 18 hours. Uh, probably get some dinner in between that and do laundry, but other than that, today's all about recuperating. Um, trying to get to 100% uh, physical. Here's all my stuff. Here's the bed I'll be sleeping in. Butler in. Should be good enough. Right there. All right, end of day 66. Um, yep, been relaxing, slept for like four hours, right, it's great, yeah. had some pizza, did my laundry, all the things I needed to do, and, um, stomach is still marginal, but it should be better, it is better, um, I guess what I need, tomorrow I'll be trying to do as much as possible, my stomach can allow, so about 20 plus mile day, Hopefully 23, 24, because it's pretty flat from here on out um, for, for foreseeable future. So that's good. Um, and hopefully tomorrow will be my last day in Ohio uh, if I go far enough today or tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow night should be my last night in Ohio. Then I can walk into Indiana tomorrow. Hopefully that happens. Um, I don't see why it shouldn't. Ready for a new state. Been in Ohio way too long. All right. But, um, yeah, and the goal, the ones in Indiana, to try to get to Illinois by the beginning of May. So, uh, give me like 11 days to do that, which should be possible because the actual distance in trail miles in Indiana is only, it's like 211 miles, so I think actually buckle down and my body doesn't protest i should be able to do it so that's the goal um yeah but i'll relax more in this bed All right later